The fabled qualities of Agapanthus are many and mystical. In its native South Africa, it's traditionally used as a magic charm to ward off thunder and lightning. And its powers of fertility are considered so potent that young brides are encouraged to wear necklaces of the root. Well, whatever the myths, one man in South Yorkshire has definitely fallen under their spell. To translate it straight into the Greek, agap is love and panthus is flower, hence the common name love flower. About 15 years ago, when my youngest daughter bought me one plant with a large blue flower and a large white flower in the same container. So that gave me the enthusiasm, the spark, to start collecting the such diverse flowers. Basically they're in white and blue, but every shade in between. And providing you follow simple rules, anybody can flower these uh, with no trouble. Agapanthus do like to be pot bound to get them to the best. Uh, as we can see quite clearly, if we get this one out of its uh, container. We copy in nature where they grow around the cliff tops around the Cape in Africa in the nooks and crannies and there you can see what we mean by pot bound. Now to get them to this stage you need to feed them with a high potash feed, probably one of the tomato feeds, once a month from March to September with a general fertiliser in June or July. The conditions in summer, they like as much sun as they can get coming from Africa, but they will stand partial shade of up to two to three hours per day if necessary. If they're in a patio pot, then in winter, in November, move them next to your house wall to get the wind chill off them or a cold glass house. If you decide to plunge them into your garden by cutting the base of the pot away and plunging then uh, cover them about four inch with bark chippings in November. These are seedlings which were sown last February and in four years time they'll start to flower. We go around probably once a week and select new forms, uh, new flower sizes, uh, stem colours and we end up with about 20 out of the 5,000 which are worthwhile potting on. Uh, this was selected for the number of flowers on the head. It's a very stable plant, it flowers the same height, it's vigorous, it's disease free, exactly what we're looking for. My particular favourite is this tricoloured variegated leafed agapanthus. It's absolutely wonderful and even the flowers are quite stunning. From this size, which is now in its fifth year from seed, it's going to take another five to six years before plants are ready for sell to the open market. It's a long-term process. It's difficult to choose, but I have chose five of my favourites. Profusion. Even a two-litre plant will have up to about ten flowers on it. It's a good grow, it's hardy, it's deciduous, and it's very easy to grow. Enigma. It was collected as mixed seed, germinated, and just happened to produce this beautiful plant. There's nothing else like it in the Agapanthus world as yet. Lavender Haze, again it's a new cultivar, it's evergreen, it's a distinct colour break. The Black Panther, the flower buds are a definite black and it's a beautiful distinct new cultivar. Intermedius, it's been around about 40 years, nearly as long as me. It has a dark flower stem and the seat pods are really dark blue and last well into autumn. I can never see me retiring out of horticulture because I wouldn't know what to do. So I think we'll be into Agapanthus for the rest of my days, how long that'll be, I don't know. Steve, as a first time exhibitor at Chelsea Flower Show, you're here in the great pavilion, how does it feel? Well, when we were travelling down from Yorkshire, we were quite nervous. But uh, since we've been here, we've met sort of friendly faces, all we know. We've got stuck in, we're well on target, and we're quite happy and we're enjoying ourselves now. And how about the medals? Because everyone arrives saying, well, it's not really important, it's, it's just about exhibiting your wares. But how confident are you? 
Well, we just do our best and really we'll be happy to choose what the outcome is. But uh, I mean, you always hope for a goal, but uh, well, we'll be happy to choose what. We're just enjoying the experience. And you've got one exhibit, one part of your stand that you're hoping going to wow the judges. A new, a unique Aga Panthers introduction. That must be the Yorkshire dream. It's one we've bred ourselves. It's a beautiful tricoloured variegated leaf with the variegated flower stem and bud. And it's a beautiful blue flower when it comes into flower. And it's not the first time you've introduced plants. You've also got a Tolbergia which is being trialled. That's correct. Uh, that's one we bred about six years ago. Uh, one of the parents is Cominzii and um, probably the other one is Violacea. But the, uh, the, the unusual thing about it, it's very prolific in flower and it's lovely pink stems and, a, and a, the sheaths are, are pink when it when you come into flower. It is really unusual. It is a beautiful plant. Mm. Good luck with the show. Best of luck with the medals. Thank you very much. Thank you. I love agapanthus because they fill that gap. You know, everything comes in June, you've got a rush, but agapanthus go into July, and that's yeah. really useful from my point of view in the garden. And fantastic in a pot, looks stunning in a pot, lovely foliage, you know, do actually do better in a pot, I find. Well, I've got raised beds, they like that warmth with me in the sunshine. Well, I mean.